Off the water transportation and handling is a common obstacle when selling kayaks and can be a, a source of frustration for owners and really impact their experience and enjoyment of their boat. Being able to get it to and from the water easily, get it you know, on the road easily, really makes it something that people are going to use more and enjoy more. Fortunately, we have some great transportation solutions for new canoe boats. For just over the ground transportation, you know, getting from the parking lot, down a ramp, to the water, we have the transport cart and the sea tug. The transport cart is for the Frontier 10 and Frontier 12. It plugs right into the transom hole and is just super simple, super easy to use. It just takes a second to pop it in, to take it out, lift up the bow handle, away you go. So for shorter hauls, um, you know, just a really simple, awesome solution. For the pursuit and for longer hauls on the Frontier, we have the sea tug. The sea tug goes underneath the center of the kayak, so it bears a lot of the weight. It supports the load. So when you're lifting up the bow handle, you don't have much weight on there at all. The, the cart kind of balances the weight out. Now this works great on the Pursuit, works great on the Frontier. Takes a little bit more time, you know, a couple minutes to kind of get the boat loaded and strapped on and secured. So it's not quite as quick and easy, but it's super nice once it's loaded up, away you go. Really easy to transport the boat, um, you know, down a path, across grass, gravel, pavement, you name it. Now to get to the water, get going over the road, we've got three options. You can go car top, back of a pickup, or on a trailer. Now if you use a trailer, you really like it. A trailer is just super awesome, super simple. The solo trailer that we sell, you know, once you have it, you won't want to go any other way. If you have a pickup truck, they fit really nice in the back of a pickup truck. With the flat bottom, just slide it right in, put a couple straps over it to hold it down, a strap around the bow to hold it in, and away you go. Um, on a pickup or in a trailer, using the new canoe cover is a really great solution because then you can leave pretty much all your gear in the boat, cover it up, strap it down, super secure, everything's protected, away you go. Now finally we got car topping. Now with the length and the width of the Pursuit in the Frontier, it's pretty cumbersome just to lift it up overhead and set it down on top of a car rack. So here's where tech, good techniques come in and also tools. Uh, with the transport cart, you can actually lift up the boat, rotate it upside down, lift it up overhead, and set it on the back end of the rack. Then walk around to the stern of the boat, lift up, and slide forward. So that's a great solo loading technique. Um, there's also factory or crossbars um, that go on top of the vehicles that have extensions on them. So with those, if you lift up the bow end, set it up on that extension, walk around to the stern, lift it up, and slide forward. You can also load the, the Pursuit or the Frontier without actually having to lift up the entire boat. You're only lifting half of it at a time and you got the other half supported either on the ground or on the rack. So those are two techniques that work really nicely. Of course, if you're going with somebody else, pretty simple just to lift it up, flip it over, set it on top of the racks uh, with you and your buddy. Now I mentioned um, upside down and we do recommend transporting them upside down with the gunnels resting flat, resting on the crossbars, it's super secure, wind just kind of goes over it and it really transports safely. So we strongly recommend you discussing a transportation plan with customers when they're purchasing a new canoe and getting them set up with the right tools and right technique to successfully and easily get their boat around so they can maximize their use and maximize their enjoyment.